Safaricom CEO has returned to office at Nairobi, defended the company's dominance as he returns to work. The country's industry regulator recommended in the draft proposal in May that Safaricom, which controls 67% of Kenya's mobile market, should offer rivals access to its transmission sites and its vast network of mobile money outlets to increase competition in the sector. 30 million customers have made a conscious decision to come onto Safaricom's network, Polymore told a parliamentary committee when asked if Safaricom was hindering competition. Committees look into whether any measures should be taken to boost competition in the market following the CAK's draft proposal. Colin Moore said he was confident authorities would not seek to punish the success of Safaricom, which is 35% owned by Vodacom, with the Kenyan government and Britain's Vodafone also holding stakes. I didn't get the sense from the committee that they're looking to cut Safaricom down to size. They are really genuinely examining whether there is anything else that needs to be done to encourage more competition in the marketplace. Other big players in the market are Bharti Airtel's unit, which has a 19.7% market share, Telcom Kenya, which has an 8.6% market share. He said the team has done a fantastic job in my absence. You saw the results in the full year. Now it is a little bit more about refocusing on the strategy in the company, ensuring that the strategy remains re relevant, it is refreshed. And um, also further to that, failures by the Communication Authority have contributed to the large disparity in the number of base transceiver stations uh, owned by Safaricom compared to other operators and we should not be punished for this. Competition must be investment-led, Stephen Chegger tell lawmakers. If you invest, you're likely to get the customers you're crying you don't have today, simply because you have not put in the infrastructure for them. As I said on May the 10th, in a turbulent world, Safaricom is a must-have stock. Uh, 23rd of July, I wrote about how Safaricom was porting its own platform into Ethiopia. Second, January, I was talking about being long Safaricom, and I said primarily because I didn't believe that the geographical expansion story or the e commerce opportunity had been baked into the price. Um, share price data is uh, on the rich wrap ups if you're interested. Um, the full year total revenue grew just shy of 10%, full year EPS up 14%. I did an interview on the occasion of the results with Satish Kamath and listen. And uh, also, I am of the view that you break and pass from Safaricom, it's a big mistake.